great day. Thank you for tapping into Gracefully Speaking. This is a message for the collective. So y'all listen to this story real quick. So I've been going to the gym consistently for the last three and a half months. Well, the last three, yeah, the last three days, I've been helping a relative move um, and I've been going and working out at a local park. And so I haven't been going to the gym I normally go to. So I walk in today after not being there for like three days and the guy who's normally there in the morning greets me and he said, um, I ain't seen you in a couple of days. And so I was like, yeah, I've been going out to such and such park um but i gotta get back on my weights like that so i go on to the women's locker room and as i sit down in the, the women's locker room spirit started speaking to me and spirit was like i have people looking for you i don't know who this is for god has people that are looking for you you are going to go into a place and you are going to be exactly what people are looking for God sent me to Ezekiel 34 and 11. It says, For this is what the sovereign Lord says. I myself will search for my sheep and look after them. As a shepherd looks after his scattered flock when he is with them, so will I look after my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places where they were scattered on the day of clouds and darkness. Listen, somebody is going through a time. Do you understand me? And don't think that you are alone. Don't think just because you watching me, I got everything together. Listen, we on the, listen, we in the same boat, okay? He said, I will bring them out from the nations and gather them from the countries. And I will bring them into their own land. I will pasture them. Listen, somebody is getting ready to go into entrepreneurship. I will pasture them on the mountains of Israel, in the ravens and in the settlements in the land. I will tend them in a good pasture and the mountain heights of Israel will be their grazing land. They, there they will lie down in good grazing land and there they will feed in a rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I receive it in Jesus name. I myself will tend my sheep. God said, he's gonna be your boss. Okay, somebody going into entrepreneurship. I myself will tend my sheep and have them lie down, declares the sovereign Lord. I will search for the lost and bring them back. Listen, 17 says, as for you, my flock, this is what the sovereign Lord says. I will judge between one sheep and another and between rams and goats. Is it not enough for you to feed on the good pasture? Baby, God is getting ready to put you in good pasture. Okay? You getting ready to go to your own land. You getting ready to be in your own house. You getting ready to run your own business. God said if, if, if it's not entrepreneurship you getting ready to go into, God is getting ready to place you into rooms where people are going to be looking for you. Let me tell y'all, I'm being guided to tell y'all about my current job. And then I gotta, I gotta go because I'm getting hot. Um, when I was working in the same building that I'm working in for a whole nother company, God told me to resign. I just kept getting messages to resign from my job. I wasn't happy with what I was making. I wasn't growing anymore. I wanted to be a place where I could grow. I just kept praying and asking God, you know, move me move me somewhere else I, I want another job um and god kept telling me he had somewhere else for me um but i had to leap i had to put in my resignation so i typed up the resignation one day at my at work and i just saved it and, and put it in a draft but i never sent it out i probably did it 30 days before um i sent it out finally god just had me so uneasy, so uncomfortable at my job that I was like, you know what? I just gotta, I just gotta leap. I just gotta go ahead and put in my resignation. So as soon as I put in my resignation letter, not knowing where I'm about to go, y'all. Didn't know, didn't know where I was about to go. I got a six-year-old son, rent to pay, a car, like expenses. I wasn't thinking about none of that. I'm like, God gonna supply. It's, it's all gonna work out. I'm working out my two weeks because I put in a two week notice. 
I'm working out my two weeks. I get ready to walk to the mailbox. And as I'm walking to the mailbox, I bump into this guy. And he was like, um, I've been looking for you. I said, you've been looking for me? He said, yeah, I've been looking for you. <laughs> I just smiled. He said, let me take you into my office. Can I show you my company? And I was like, yeah, you can show me your company. And so he takes me around his company and he tells me what he's looking for. And I, I tell him some of my, you know, my attributes, some of my, some of the things that I bring to the table. Um, and he was like, you exactly what I'm looking for. And I was like, well, it's funny that you said that because I just put in, you know, my two week notice. And so he asked me when I was expected to be leaving that particular position. Um, I told him, long story short, I'm working for this. I, I'm working for him now. So when I'm telling you that God will send people, he will have people searching for you. He will have people searching for you. Now I'm at a place where I've grown here. I've been here for almost nine, 10 months. And now God is like, okay, I'm getting ready to move you somewhere else this is confirmation for someone god is getting ready to move you somewhere else if you've been thinking man i want to put in my resignation but i don't know where i'm going take the leap of faith take that leap of faith if if, if you coming across videos about people talking about resigning um it's just popping up in your recommendations god is speaking so clearly in this season he is getting ready to move his children to good pasture where well, he's going to be our boss. We won't be answering to nobody. <laughs> we won't be answering to nobody. You are the boss. You're going to be the CEO. <sighs> mm. God is moving us. God is moving us. I receive it in Jesus' name. I love y'all. Peace.